I think this video is the most important compared to other seven videos about the Ruslan Akula device principle. And the Akua mentions about NMR, and also Ruslan mentions about the rotating magnetic field, and also other free energy developer likes the TPU, and then the ferro resonance. They uh, the Russian people like to mix rotating magnetic field and the ferro resonance, although it's different. And then the free energy developers likes to talk about the Caduceus coil, eddy current, and opposing magnetic field. Now, uh, to understand other things, it's very good to start from the classic NMR principle. NMR principle is like that when there is a strong magnetic field and and then the the spin is aligned to here in the low state not excited state <clears throat> and because of the angular momentum is turning actually it's a little bit turning like that but when there is a excitation some energy comes then some spin flips to higher energy. Flipping means uh, uh, it, the, the, the nuclear reacts against the magnetic field. Some spin goes to the other direction of the magnetic field. That's the higher state. And then it doesn't become zero, but net magnetic field of the of this atom goes to this direction. So that's the classic nuclear magnetic uh, resonance. And then when it comes back, then it releases this energy and comes back. So um, then the, if I see the real device, it looks like that. The, when there is a strong magnetic field here, like that and then when there is a excitation this blue is the excitation then the magnet magnetic spin flips to the other direction and then it, because of the excitation the magnetic direction becomes like that and then when the excitation is gone then it goes back that's the classic nuclear magnetic resonance, and then that uh, the this frequency the when uh, when it's here, then the the it can increase the increase the current here, and then because of that, it it makes a frequency because it's turning. Then that's the uh, classical part, and the free energy. What people say or Akua say is when when there is excitation, it's rotating here. That means the magnetic field is supposed to be here, but because of this excitation, that's why sometimes the the these free energy developers likes to give a pulse. Why pose? That's the excitation. Then when there is excitation, the magnetic field becomes this direction. Not anymore this, this direction. And, and when there is a magnetic field towards this direction, then there is an electric field along this direction. So eventually, what looks funny is a magnetic field and electric field becomes the same direction. That's the uh, magic part of this uh, free energy. So if we can make it, magnetic field and electric field goes to the same direction. I mean the original magnetic field. Then, then that means it's not uh, relaxing the energy and uh, it's staying here. So that's the free energy. Then uh, because of that, rotating magnetic field is when, 
when we give the coil like that then the magnetic field is supposed to be here but because of the shock pulse uh, with some other extra coil or, or the same coil because of this shock pulse the electric field happens towards this direction as well and magnetic field is rotating that's the rotating magnetic field then if we see this yeah electric field is given through the coil then the black line is supposed to be a magnetic field but if we follow this principle then along this magnetic field direction there is a electric field and we can have this electric field but uh, what is important is uh, it doesn't happen just with a normal wave we always have to have a shock like that then if this shock pulse goes to this direction and then we can we can have it or we on the other hand you we have this coil and then we can give a shock here then the same principle because of this shock the magnetic field and the, the electric when this is electric field shock like that then the magnetic field is supposed to turn like that but not turn magnetic field goes along the same direction as the electric field that means we can harness through this coil so vice versa that's the principle of tpu actually so this nmr and the rotating magnetic field and ferroresonance tpu ferroresonance is actually the when the voltage is here then the current cannot cannot follow this voltage uh, voltage increase and the current becomes like that that's the ferroresonance then where this energy is gone to the other direction because of the people like to call it ferroresonance and it's all the same then the because uh, because it's there is an opposing magnetic field that makes the the lateral direction uh, rotation so some people say the opposing magnetic field is important and eddy current is the same eddy current eddy current is actually where where the current uh, where this uh, magnetic field is there then there is a current like that so it's a loss but when we can harness this and then make make it the same direction as the magnetic field then there will be a magic happening so i think all these are the same although i didn't go to the detail of each so and uh, at least this is very important to understand ruslan aqua device because he mentioned about this and then the rotating magnetic field so we need to have this 90 degree direction somehow so uh, the normal coils are like that then we if we just try to make any coil like this or like that and then try to get it we cannot get it we have to have some antenna going towards this direction or coil coil going towards this direction and then we have to harness this energy and from my exper experiment i i realized something really interesting about this 90 degree uh, electric field because uh it's it doesn't depend on the load much which will be prepared in another video so the this part the the 90 degree part although you reduce the the resistance which it means the increase in the load uh the the voltage doesn't decrease that easily so 
That's the free energy. People say that to have the free energy, first thing we have to observe is, although we increase the load, we increase the load, the voltage doesn't drop down. The voltage stays without having any extra input. So that's it.